so we are building the largest dsa solution repository together so what you have to do first uh, you can just come to this readme.md and uh, here you can see we are building the largest dsa solution repository so here you can find your particular solution for your dsa problem currently we are only supporting lead code gfg and interview bit so here you must read out this stuff to find your particular solution so first of all you can press t to just open the file finder so i will just press and uh, suppose i want to search out some problem that is uh, nine divisor so that is a problem for from gfg platform and here you can see nine divisor dot cpp solution and java solution is also here so you can just click on it and you can just see the solution so that can be a very helpful repository for you and uh, you can see here there are already a lot of contributors in this repository and i am also personally contributing three codes per day one from interview bit one from gfg and one from lead code platform so you can just uh, start this repository if you found this helpful and this repository is open for contribution so you can just start your open source journey with us so you just have to share your code and if that code is correct then we will just accept your pull request so there is also very important thing to notice that you must read this contributing.md file before your contribution you can just see there are some prerequisite required to contribute so first of all if you are contributing code then you must know git and github so this is the platform that we are using is github so after this a programming language that can be anything either it can be c c++ java python we support everything so after that data structures and algorithms so that is the name of our repository dsa that means data structures and algorithms and after that problem solving so you have to use your programming language and data structure to solve some particular problems so that problem can be from interview bit lead code or gfg and after that if you are contributing in documentation or other things Remember, we will not count that thing for Hacktoberfest. And after that, you can see here how to contribute. So first of all, while you are creating your pull request, we have a very beautiful pull request template for you. So you must fill out all the necessary details there. And after that, if you are contributing to code, so if you are doing this, if you are contributing your code, so you must follow this part and create your pull request according to this. But if you are creating a wrong PR, then I don't have any other option. I have to mark you as a spam. So first of all you have to read this currently we only cover these three platforms and we have to maintain the structure of this repository that means if you have some problem from lead code platform then you should put it in inside this directory this is our lead code directory and there are some particular folders of these problems and same for others if you have some gfg problem then you can use this gfg directory and same for interview bit so after that please contribute your code in the right directory so that is almost the same thing and if you are a LitHub user, if you don't know about LitHub, that is an extension that will automatically upload your code in a GitHub repository. So if you are a LitHub user, then you then only you can contribute your code in the main directory with using this extension. So after this, you must check if a question already exists or not. So first of all, you have to press T and search if that question already exists. And if that question already exists, so you can see here an example. A solution named 9divisor.java is to be added. So I have some particular solution that is 9divisor.java file and i have to add that then before creating my pull request i will just check if that nine divisor already exists or not and if it already exists then i will just copy my code and append it in that file so just wait for a while i will just show you how to contribute and there is some file naming convention that you have to follow and also this thing we strictly avoid removing the code of other contributors so just remember all these things and make your pr accordingly So let me just show you how you can contribute your code in the DSA repository. So suppose I have this question. So there is this question name and I have the solution. So first of all, I will copy the solution and then this question name. So I will just control C and here I am in the DSA repository homepage. So first of all, I know that this problem is from lead code platform. So I will just con press control F and uh, press lead code. So I will just find that lead code directory. So here it is. You can see here there is this lead code directory. So I will open it. Here you can see there are multiple folders with the question name. So my question name is this number of dice rolls with target sum. And here you can see there is the directory. There is the folder with the same name. So I will just press it. And here you can see there is the CPP solution and Pi solution. So I have to add a new Java solution. So I will just add file, create new file. And I will just paste here the question name last dot extension Java. So you must add your language extension and after that here I will paste the code. So after this you can just see here commit new file and you will see the option of creating a pull request. So, so just create a pull request and fill out that pull request template and if your code is correct your PR will be accepted. 
and there is also another way to do this that I will also recommend you so first of all you have to open your VS code and inside this just open your terminal new terminal and here here you have to write the command git clone so git is a version control system that you can learn so git is a very important tool that you will obviously use in your future and here git clone and after that we need a link so we will get the link from here code and here you can see there is a link https link so i will just copy this and i will paste it here and press enter so you can see here using this clone command we can clone the repository in our local system so you can see here we just cloned it and here you can see dsa repository i hope you can see this okay you can see here now so you can see here there is our dsa repository that means it is a folder and inside this i have to search i will just control f and delete code okay so where is the lead code okay here you can see there is the lead code folder and inside this i have this what is the question name number of dice rolls number of dice rolls and inside this i have a cpv file and python file so i will just click here and i will create a new file with the same name so i will just copy here the name okay i have to add a new file question name so that is the question name and at last dot java and press enter so you will just create a new file with the same name and and here i will just paste my code so you can just code here or you can just uh, pick it from the platform so after adding this code i will again open the terminal and here you can see so first i will check git status so it will just show you the status of your git files okay there is a lot of files here okay it is just showing me that sagar folder so i have to open this one so i will open this dsa folder here so i will just right click here and open in integrated terminal and here i will write git status so you can see i added this java file so after this i can add git add dot so this will add and i will just check the status now so you can see here new file is added and add means i stage this file so after that i can just commit it commit minus a and after that name or i can just enter so i will just write here the name added added java file and after that escape escape colon wq and enter so i have done a commit so i will just push now so git push so so you can see here the push is done so i will just check in the repository reload so you can just see the new commit that added java file so you can see here the new commit added java file and uh, i just added in the right directory okay here you can hover and you can see here it, is, it is in the lead code directory okay so that is how you can learn basic git commands git add git commit git clone so just start this repository it will be very helpful for you and start contributing